What's going on guys? In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to repaste your GPU on your Alienware Aurora R13 or R14 for better thermals, better performance, as well as increasing the lifespan. In our crypto mining video, our VRAM temps got up to 110 degrees Celsius. That's insane. We're gonna fix that so our GPU doesn't crash and so that we can make some more money. VRAM got uncomfortably hot in a few games as well. Little disclaimer, keep in mind every time you open up your computer and modify anything inside, there's a possibility of you breaking something. So follow these steps at your own risk. And make sure to ground yourself on something in case of any static electricity. First, before you do anything else, make sure to unplug your computer and make sure to disconnect anything else from your computer. Now, Dell recommends you put your computer on its side, but for this video, I'm gonna leave it standing up for better camera angles. Now go ahead and unscrew the back handle until the side panel pops out. Next, we need to unlock and remove this bracket, unplug these two plugs, then unlock and remove this middle support, open this door, and then in the back, we gotta flip this little lever here to the right. All right, now that we've got the GPU out, we need to unscrew all these screws. Now, because the corner screws, middle edge screws, and center spring screws are all a little different, I recommend that you place these screws to the side in the same order and same configuration that they are on the GPU. It's just gonna help keep you organized and prevent headaches when you're putting everything back together. Now, you don't need a magnetic screwdriver for unscrewing, but for computer modding, I recommend that you get one for when you're screwing things back in as it makes handling these tiny screws a lot easier. I'll put a link in the description below for the one that I recommend. We're going to remove the GPU port plate by unscrewing these three screws. Now we're gonna unscrew this side support bracket and remove it. Then we're gonna need to remove this top black plate first. It'll be a little stuck on initially due to the sticky thermal pads that you can see right here. Next, we need to unscrew these two last spring screws right here. And now slowly we can flip this last piece back to reveal the GPU. You can see we've got all this thermal paste on the GPU itself, but the lack of any thermal paste right here where the stickers are is really hurting our VRAM temps. As far as repasting the GPU itself, some people just put a little bit more on it to help reseal it, but I want to start clean. I recommend using these Noctua wipes for cleaning all this up. So let's go ahead and remove these stickers, clean everything up. And now for our thermal paste, this top of the line Noctua thermal paste. I've included links for both of these in the description below and then reapply thermal paste on the GPU itself. Now we're gonna generously apply this all the way around our GPU in a zigzag manner so that it spreads out evenly when we close it back up. Go ahead and flip the main circuit board back on, carefully lining up the screw holes. Now we're gonna screw on the two smaller spring screws right here, then reattach the GPU port plate by screwing these three screws back in. Now we're gonna put the main metal black plate back on slowly lining up the screw holes. All right, so now this part right here is important. To make sure that the thermal paste spreads evenly as we secure these two pieces together, we need to zigzag back and forth with our screws. I like to go corner to corner and make my way back to the middle. After you've gotten all the screws back in, you can tighten all of them firmly, just don't over tighten. And now we're gonna screw back in our support bracket with these two screws. Now just press down on several spots to see if anything still feels loose and then adjust accordingly. Now go ahead and put the GPU back in and press until the little switch flips back up. Slide in your center support bracket, then plug the two plugs back in, then slide in your larger bracket, close the door. Now let's close everything back up and see what the difference is. Usually the benefits of repasting are more noticeable on older machines that have been used for a lot longer, but there was still a significant difference in temperatures after what we just did. So as you can see across the board, there was an average of about 10 degrees lower on the four games that I tested. And then when I turned the fans to full speed, our temps were almost 20 degrees lower than before. Very similar results with the VRAM temps as well. Between five to 10 degrees lower, Lower. Then with fans set to full speed, again, almost 20 degrees lower than before. And when it came to crypto mining, before I did the repasting on the GPU, I was maxing out at 110 degrees on the VRAM. That's the hottest it's allowed to get before it starts throttling itself. And then after only about 10 to 30 minutes of mining, my GPU would crash every single time. But then after implementing that new thermal paste, the VRAM came down and rested at around 90 degrees and finally stopped throttling or crashing the machine. You can see right here that our hash rate went up as well which resulted in increased profits. 90 degrees is still pretty hot on the VRAM, but honestly for a 3090 GPU, it's gonna get hot. The VRAM can handle quite a bit more heat than the GPU chip. If you wanna learn more about how to crypto mine with your gaming PC, then click on this video right here, or click here for my Alienware upgrading playlist, or here for my gaming PC reviews. Now the winner for my weekly giveaway. Thanks for watching guys. I love you guys. God bless.